Some might say the title of the series, Microsoft Excel Tables Deep Dive, kind of says it all. But for those who want a little more detail, or for those of you who aren't sure exactly how we're going to fill several hours talking about and demonstrating tools that all fit onto one little ribbon tab, well, here you go. First of all, you should have some prior knowledge. As we said, it's not necessarily required, but it certainly will make this journey a lot easier. That would include having some basic personal computer or PC literacy. You should also have a basic knowledge of Excel skills. Now that can be kind of a wide range of things. So what we mean is being able to navigate worksheets and workbooks, being able to enter and edit data in cells, formatting worksheets and cells using ribbon options and the format cells dialog, and being able to create basic formulas and functions is helpful as well. Familiarity with the basic concepts of Excel lists and or databases, whether they're in Excel or not, and the terminology that's related to them is also going to be helpful, but not required, because we'll go over all of it here. What's most important is to know that advanced Excel skills or prior experience with tables or databases is not required in order to participate and enjoy this series. So what are we going to learn and what will you be able to do when it's all done? Well, you'll be able to understand what tables are and how they can be used. You'll be able to prepare data for use as a table. You'll be able to create tables, of course, and that also includes modifying table structure, configuring table formatting, and even using table styles as far as formatting to make that quick, easy, and consistent. Once you're able to make it all look pretty, then of course the data becomes really important. And that includes being able to add, edit, and delete records, and even sort and filter table data. Of course, one of the most powerful parts of Excel is its ability to work with calculations. Being able to understand how tables alter function syntax and why that's important is really an important part and an important feature and benefit of using tables. That means we'll also want to be sure that we understand what calculated columns are and how to use them, as well as working with a total row. Whenever we work with lists or databases or tables, we want to make sure that we have good data, and that can include the easy way to remove duplicate data. And we'll even touch on some other types of topics that aren't directly related to tables, and that includes creating basic pivot tables and understanding the benefits of making charts from tables as well. So there you have it. Whether you were just curious where you're headed or whether you really wanted to know what we could really cover over several hours talking about just tables, now you know. These are the bullet points, and we'll be fleshing these out and taking that deep dive into tables in each of these topics in their own videos.